All right, shalom. All right, so uh, you know, I got the spirit to do a video uh, because of this stuff that's going on. Um, a lot of people uh, are now speaking up, but I mean, this stuff has been going on since before I was even born. Excuse me. So, our people been getting killed and beaten in the street and hung. Just not, uh, just not long ago, there was a brother who escaped the lynching. He said, he said two uh, white men. Two Edomites came and they tried to hang him and, and he fought for his life to try to get out and he got away. And then when he got away, he called the cops. And the cops threatened him and told him he better get out of town or else. So I don't know what happened to that brother, but I don't know if he got out of town or they finally uh, killed him. But this stuff has been going on uh, for a long time now. And it's because of, 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 of Israel's iniquity of the children of Israel, the so-called Negroes. All right. Now I'm going to read a few things uh, for you out of Deuteronomy, and uh, I'm going to show you who the real children of Israel are. So this stuff that we're going through right now, it's 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 in the scriptures. It's in the scriptures. All right, so we're going to start off at Deuteronomy 28:64, and then I'm going to go back. Uh, you know, I'm going to go back and forward, precept by precept. All right. So Deuteronomy 28:64, and the Lord shall scatter thee among all the people from one end of the earth to the other. And there thou shalt serve other gods, which neither thou nor thy fathers have known, even wood and stone. That means that we're going to be scattered in a land, and we're going to be serving all types of different gods. Ain't that what we are? Ain't that what we're doing? I know my mom is a Jehovah's Witness. I got other uh, families who are Baptists. We're serving all these other gods. We don't even know what the hell freaking we doing. All right? And these nations, thou, and, and with these nations, that means races of people, Thou shalt find no ease, neither shall the sole of thy foot have rest. But the Lord shall give thee there a trembling heart, and failing of eyes, and sorrow of mind. And thy life shall hang in doubt before thee, and thou shalt fear day and night, and shall have no assurance of thy life. So, as you, you know, as you can see, this brother who got killed in uh, Minneapolis was going to the store purchase goods and he was going to pay with a check and then the uh the 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 clerk called the cops on him and said she thought or he thought that this brother was committing fraud for the mere thought of, of a black person committing a fraud you can die for it that's that's some that's some stuff right there that's in the scriptures uh just like the other day this one white lady was at the park in the Ramble or somewhere in, in, in uh, Central Park, whatever. And uh, she said, This black man, I'm gonna call the cops and tell them African American man is threatening my life, me and my dog, while she's choking the hell out of her dog. So these people know what they're doing. They know what they're doing. They know that anytime they call the cops on somebody, they get you killed. And they do it on purpose because, because, because they are justified in doing it, because they're evil and wicked. This lady was trying to get this black man killed. She was trying to get him killed. She she said, "Oh my God, he's coming! He, he's coming through! He, he, he's threatening my life!" Cops would have came. That man would have got smoked. The only reason why that man didn't die is because the Most High was with him. There must have been something righteous about that man. The Most High didn't want him to die, or it wasn't his time. But if it was, uh, 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 you know, all these other folks. They would have got wasted. The cops would have came, guns blazing, and smoked him immediately. And then they shoot first and ask questions later. That's what they do. All right. Now we're gonna get uh, we're gonna get Deuteronomy uh, twenty-eight forty-eight. Therefore, thou shalt serve thine enemies, which the Lord shall sin against thee in hunger and in thirst and in nakedness and in want of all things so you know what that means right that means we have to go to our oppressors for everything we want if you, if you need to buy new drawers where well, you got to go you got to go to Esau's store because we don't we can't make drawers on our own right we don't have our own water we don't have our own nothing we got to go to them for everything even if you want cable if you want cable you gotta go to Cox and you know who owns that it, it, it don't matter where you go if you want to go to the grocery store you know who owns that they own everything. So we're going to want everything from our oppressors in, in nakedness and in hunger. 
and in one of all things. And he shall put a yoke of iron upon thy neck until he have destroyed thee. So, before we were totally destroyed as people, what they done was they put irons of, of uh, uh, yokes on our necks. And that's how they were able to destroy us. They humiliated, they humiliated us and they made examples of us and they dehumanized us for, for hundreds of years. Once, excuse me, once they succeeded in dehumanizing us, now they can take off the yokes, just like they do with trained animals. You have a, you have an animal trained up in a certain area forever. Once you take the chain off, he, he's gonna stay there. He's gonna realize that that's just, he's, he's used to being in that situation. He's probably not gonna run away because because the owner feeds him. So he can't run away from you. You know why? Because you're the one who supply him food to live. That's the same thing like us Negroes here. We had the yokes of iron put up on our necks so long that now we don't know where the hell to go. We need to exactly the plan. We hate each other, we kill each other, we never have each other's backs. All they're doing is disguising this stuff right here, you know, because uh, uh, you know the stuff that's going on. You know, the New World Order. That's all they're doing. All right? Now, let me get Esau right quick. Let me get Esau. <laughs> Let me get Esau right quick, because you know Esau is he, he, he's, he's dangerous. He's dangerous. We're gonna get uh we're gonna get Revelation 18 6. 18 6. Helicopter, they found me. Revelations 18 6. Alright, here we go. Revelation 18 6. Revelation 18.6 <clears throat> This is, you know what, I'm going to start at 4 And we're going to go to 4 all the way to 6 And I heard another voice from heaven saying Come out of her, my people That ye be not partakers of her sins That ye receive not of her plagues So what the people don't understand is that Our people are going to catch the plagues that, that these heathens are about to get We're going to catch the plagues If you don't Stop being a damn friends and hanging around them and going to brunch with them. For her sins have reached unto heaven, and God hath remembered her her iniquities. Reward her even as she rewarded you, and double unto her double according to her works. In the cup which she hath filled to her double. So what these people are doing to us, the most high is gonna punish them double for what they've done. And the and the precept that we're gonna get uh Revelation, or take that back, Jeremiah 16, 18, just to, just to back that up with a uh, precept, all right, Jeremiah 16, 18, all right, so let's get it, and the first, I will recompense their iniquity and their sin double, because they have defiled my land, they have filled my inheritance with the carcass of their detestable and abominable things. O oh Lord, my strength and my fortress and my refuge in the day of affliction of the Gentiles shall come unto thee from the ends of the earth and shall say, Surely our Father have inherited lies, vanity, and things where there is no profit. So these people have inherited lies. They think that it's okay to kill the children of Israel because they don't have no clue who they're killing. They think, they think they're killing Hamites and they think that there's there's no punishment for what they're doing but they have a uh, a rude awakening coming because let's get Isaiah 14 watch this Isaiah 14 and 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 this is amazing how I never hear this I never hear this uh this verse right here you don't hear this in churches nowhere Isaiah 14 you don't never hear this watch this here it is uh, actually, you can start even further than that. Uh, okay, let's go to chapter 14. Isaiah chapter 14. For the Lord will have mercy on Jacob and will yet choose Israel and set them in their own land. And the strangers shall be joined with them and they shall cleave to the house of Jacob. 
and the people shall take them and bring them to their place, and the house of Israel shall possess them in the land of the Lord for servants and for handmaids. And they shall take them captives, whose captives they were, and they shall rule over their oppressors. And it shall come to pass in the day that the Lord shall give thee rest from thy sorrow, and from thy fear, and from the hard bondage wherein thou wast made to serve. That thou shalt take up this proverb against the king of Babylon, and say, How hath the oppressor ceased? The golden city. The Lord hath broken the staff of the wicked, and the scepter of rulers. He who smote the people wrath with a continual stroke. He that ruled the nations in anger is persecuted, and none hindereth. Alright, so that right there is judgment. These people, we are captives here. So you know what's happening for them next. They're going into captivity. That's just the way that it works. They're going into slavery. So don't feel bad, uh, family, for what these people are doing. The only thing you can do is stay connected to the Most High and stay into the Scriptures. Come out of her, my people. Be ye separate. Don't get caught up with these damn heathens trying to be their friends. They're not your friends. They're not your friends. No matter how many times they bought you a drink at a bar or, 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 or paid for your lunch, these heathens are not your friends. If they don't accept you as the children of Israel, they're not your friends. That's just the way it works. So, so really, you don't really have any friends. I lost the majority of my friends. Once I woke up, no more friends. And then I, and then I start slowly gaining some back. Two only. I must have had like 40, 50 friends. Now I only got two. That's what happens when you wake up to the truth. The, mo the Most High separates you. He separates you from the heathens. Because the scriptures say that there's going to be division amongst men. And these people are going to whack you. In the end, they're going to whack you. And that's just, that's just the way it works. You can act like, you know, it's not going to happen to you. But if you're still hanging around with these people, they're going to get you. Alright? Shalom.